Good morning, guys. Beautiful day again in sunny Orlando. I'm enjoying the weather like you won't believe it. I don't want the summer to come. Today's a crazy day. We're going to go to Global Pet Show. For those of you guys that don't know what Global Pet Show is, it's America's largest pet show, basically. They do everything from cats, dogs, birds, and they got an aquatic area. It always happens here, right down the road, the convention center here in Orlando. Also, we're going to give you an update today on Loose Tank. You guys seen this little three-gallon Pico, the one from eShops? You know, so it's been almost a year. Next month is a year. A lot of people have been asking us, how's that tank looking? So we're going to be giving you an update on that tank. So you just stay tuned. We're going to be hanging out with Lou. Here we go. So around here, we don't wait for Uber. We wait for Luber. For those of you guys who don't know what Luber is, it's Lou driving his car. He'll take us around places. Oh, there he is. Perfect timing. All right, let's go. Are you my Luber? Call Luber? Yes, sir. All right, hop on in. Going to the Global Pet Show. Let's go. Right, let's do it. If you ever want my clothes, pay attention. You're going to hear people screaming. Don't get alarmed. Don't panic. These people here at SeaWorld going crazy, screaming on these crazy roller coasters they got. There was this one ride that I swear I got scared. It was so freaking high. I don't like heights for those of you guys that don't know me. I'll be busy drive, driving the, the Luber. I can't, no time for the theme parks. How do we convince them guys to get on a roller coaster? Maybe, you know what? That may be worthy of, of a video. I went on one with you one time, man. Oh, you did it. I, uh, yeah, you and Ryan. Right. Doesn't count, guys. A little kitty roller don't coaster. Don't kitty scary. roller coaster in uh, Disney. Oh. In Animal Kingdom, there's a little roller coaster. Right? How many roller coasters does Disney have? Not many, right? Lou was scared of getting into this thing. It's like it goes up and then you oh, go scared. left. That thing was going like this. Oh, no, the teacup one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, he, he was serious about it. He still talks about it till today. I went super weak yesterday, guys. So I stopped by my favorite sandwich spot. I told you guys about, um, it's called Earl of Sandwich. And my favorite sandwich is the tuna melt. So when I get there, they got these giant cookies. And I said, no, I'm going to stay away from the cookies. And I look in there, and the lady's baking fresh, fresh cookies right in front of me. I can't make this up, guys. And I go, you making fresh cookies? She goes, yeah. And I go, are those fresh? They're just coming out of the oven. I'm watching them rolling out of the conveyor oven. Rolling out. And then I say, okay, this is going to be perfect. They're going to last me all day. So I don't have to munch on other stuff, you know? How long was I? I ate the first warm one. I couldn't stop. Before I even touched the sandwich, I ate all the cookies. <laughs> <laughs> These cookies from our old sandwich. They were freaking yummy, dude. <laughs> Hi, Jimmy. Ready? That's your bag? Bling, bling. I got you. We got Jimmy, a nice little puppy. And you do a little punchy, punchy. I think you're good to go. All right. My dog's going to be happy. Holy smokes. This place is big. You can land a plane in this bar. <laughs> here at the eShops booth at Global Pet Show. My man, Aquaman Shalom, the one and only. For those that know, it was me versus Aquaman Shalom, the last Deathmate Challenge through ReefToReef.com. Yes, this sir. time, tell me what you want to do. A rematch. Rematch. I think it was fixed. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the public spoke and they chose. Yes. I thought it was an even playing field overall. Like I said, it's, come on, I battled the, the Lou Shabo, come on. Right? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So well, just like a tiny fish in the pond. Well, Real you got me out of retirement. Business. It was like, I didn't have a reef tank for like two years. Exactly. Yeah. And, and I heard he's doing his own water changes. Yes, everything. 100% me. It's true. Jimmy has it on video. I mean, he can get it on video, right, okay. Jimmy? I'm at the deck. <laughs> okay, that's good because I want to see it. All right, cool. Now, what's going on here, man? I see some new stuff that's coming yes. out. Very exciting. And this is all connected to our rematch. Okay. So I want to present to you guys the Deskmate collection. As you all know, right next to Vic is the Deskmate. We call that the classic now. And let me first show you the Deskmate Mariana. And this is a seven gallon drop off tank. And this is gonna be my next baby. And I might 
may might use this for my rematch but yeah it's it's an amazing setup with a, with a drop off and we call it the deskmate mariana and now right here folks is the deskmate florida yay florida <laughs> and i sense i sense something here that i, I think uh, lou is gonna choose this as his weapon of choice for our rematch. Thinking about it with with the room it has, I think it's gonna be more fun setting this up as a challenge. Yeah. So Lou, aside from our new products, do you accept the challenge? I do accept the challenge. Yeah! It's on! The one year anniversary is coming up and we're gonna kick it off with the year number two. Yes sir! Two! 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 <laughs> two! Lou took the two. challenge, we need help. Call backup, call backup, we need help. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? I got Vic's backup. He's oh. gonna hook me up with the best corals so I can Damn. beat his ass. We gotta send him a box. Secret box. Yes, oh, hey, VIP, VIP. Vic's pick. Vic's picks. Wow. Oh, my desk mate. Oh. Now he's going high end. Yikes. Oh. Yeah. We should, we should do this, like the box. <laughs> Come now. <laughs> Alright guys, we just got back to the office, lots and lots of walking. That show is huge. If you ever been to the Global Pet, you know what I'm talking about. It is a mile long each way, I'm sure. Anyhow, we just got back, I'm doing a little feeding here on my tank. Now I'm gonna pass it on to Lou, he's gonna show you guys an update of his tank. You guys seen it a few months back, it was a challenge with Dacoman Shalmo from Eat Shops. It's looking great, the tank just turned a year old, so Lou, take it over, show him around, man. So over here is where my eShop tank sits. This is the deskmate, the original deskmate. But along the back, you'll see I have a colony of zoas growing on the back glass. There are actually two of them, along with the contraband Montipora, and also a really nice, I think that's the Five of the Gods. Now I started with one jawbreaker mushroom. Now I have about five down here, and we created a little bed for them, which is kind of cool. We put a bunch of rubble down there at the bottom of the tank, and we put a piece of PVC collar around it. And that's all contained. It's like a little little mushroom farm right now, jawbreakers. They're all beautiful. Um, we do have a new inhabitant. His name is Happy. He's a Bangai Cardinal fish. What's really cool about him, the story is that he was actually born here at Worldwide Corals. The first and only fish that we kept in captivity since we opened up over 15 years ago. Uh, he's doing very well. We transferred him over here. We found him in the sump next door. And now he resides here in this beautiful decimate tank. So once a week, I do about a gallon and a half to two gallon water change. I gotta yeah. ask, how do you clean the sand when it's so small? Well, the little turkey baster, I get in there and I kind of hit the hit the sand, I hit all the pockets real quick. Okay. So it kind of gets rid of the detritus that's there. I do it just before I do my water change. So it gets cloudy, is that what it is? It gets really cloudy, yeah, so it clouds up. I also hit the rocks with the turkey baster, so just before I do my water change, I do that so I can get all the detritus out as much as possible before I change my water. I did replace the main pump, it's a CJ pump, um, and I also replaced the nozzle because I don't have any power heads in here. So I replaced it with the VCA uh, return nozzle, which gives me random flow. I'm doing Polyp Lab Refoids twice a week, and I was also adding amino acids from Braywell Aquatics. For the acrylic, what I use is a magic eraser, so I don't have a actual magnet on there. So a couple times a week, I actually go in there with the magic eraser and I go over all the, all the acrylic. I wasn't prepared for it, but I was called out today from Aquaman Shalom, again. The two new eShop's desk mates, two different sizes, they're larger. So I really think it'd be a great time because I wanted to upgrade anyway, because I pretty much have a full house in here. So I can't really add any more corals, so I'm down. All right, so well guys, that covers everything for today, right Lou? That's about it. All right, well, thank you for showing us your time. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Give us a like, leave some comments below. We'll be glad to answer them for you guys. We'll see you guys soon.